Hi, welcome back to Headbangers Ball, coming to you now from one of Britain's premier rock venues, Rock City in Nottingham. And tonight we really are in the heart of metal country. Donington, the famous home of Monsters of Rock, is just 10 miles up the road from here, and Nottingham itself has an active local rock scene, as well as being home to Earache Records, one of the UK's leading death metal and thrash labels. And in fact, it's an Earache band that we're here to meet tonight. Morbid Angel are over from Florida to promote their highly acclaimed second album, Blessed Are the Sick. So it seems like a good time to ask the question, how far can death metal go? Over the past few years, um, death metal seems to have grown quite a bit. Um, uh, it started with, uh, I think, heavier music in general has uh, really gotten a kick. Um, I think people are, are getting bored with, with one thing and moving on to the next. Uh, a few years ago, thrash was, was really big. And, you know, if, if 10 years ago someone would have said, uh, Metallica is going to be on a major label and they're going to sell millions of records. Everybody would have said, well, you know, what a joke. But it's happened. Slayer is now very big. They're selling lots and lots of records. And I think, uh, I think death metal is, is coming of age. death metal are a step beyond thrash metal or power metal or heavy metal if you will uh, I think they're looking for something more in terms of aggression in terms of releasing energy and frustrations that's built up inside them that built up inside all of us and I think it's uh, I think it's a natural progression from uh, one thing to the next just to continue to get heavier when we play live we try to really really push hard and really come forth with, with, with vigor and with aggression and, and really punch the songs and, and really feel the energy of the people and, and, and share energy with them. Um, and and this, is, this is obviously a very big rush for us. Uh, anyone that comes to our shows that enjoys our shows, we enjoy the fact that, that they're there as much as they would enjoy the fact that we're there. Uh, it's kind of like we feed off of each other. Uh, it's a very big energy release. Uh, it's a very personal thing. It's a very something that we feel very, very close to. Uh, we've always felt very close to the fans, um, and um, uh, it, it's a very positive thing for us. Uh, it, as as negative as our message may sound to some people, uh, it, it's something that's actually very, very positive uh, in our way of looking at things, which ultimately is what matters here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
Orbit Angel is somewhat of a monolith. Uh, many things beyond our control happen throughout the years. Uh, we've all devoted our lives to it totally and completely. We've made commitments to it. We've put ourselves physically and spiritually into the band. And the band has grown, will continue to grow, because we're, we're very serious about what we do and what we feel and what we will ultimately project in our live shows, in our LPs, today and in the future. Blessed Are the Sick, our new album, is, I would feel, a natural progression from Altars of Madness. It, uh, it's quite a bit more artistic. Uh, we had a great deal more in terms of a studio budget this time. Uh, when you have time to experiment in the studio without having to be militant and mechanical and just put everything down one after another, uh, it gives you time to flow and really let your soul come out. Blessed are the sick. too much. Um, I see a lot of things going on. I smell a lot of things. And I don't like the way they are. And my lyrics tend to stab out at the things that I don't like. And they tend to uplift the things that I do like. And oftentimes that goes against what one would consider